ladies, so um, the last video was like all over the place um, with the 16 week update and then after I actually watched the video, I was like, okay, I left off a couple of things. And you know what's so crazy, like I meant to write them down, I still didn't write them down, so hopefully I can remember everything that I wanted to tell y'all. Um, first things first, I don't know if y'all know Robin from, um, I think her new pay, I mean her new title or new name is, um, hold on, I'm going to look it up, I ain't about to give y'all no false information. God's Miracle Received is her new name, she changed it. Um, and anyway, she had asked everybody that, of course, that she inspired or anybody that um, felt the need to, you know, congratulate or wanted to congratulate or wanted to do like a little small shout out um, to do a video. So you still have time, hopefully. Um, she's trying to put it together before her baby shower. I believe her baby shower is tomorrow. Today's Saturday, so tomorrow. Um, and can y'all imagine I had to fit words into into a 30 second to one minute video do you know how hard that was that was challenging like very very challenging lord help me and so what happened was yesterday i when i seen um i watched um nikki proverbs video and also watched um um 76 miss martin and i was like oh crap I forgot and so it was kind of late last night and so I was like well I'll do it first thing in the morning hopefully she hadn't started putting the video together yet to show um, so if you have time this morning I'm gonna after I do this video I'm gonna hurry up and upload everything um, so go and do a little small video um, up to you know 30 minutes to one minute I mean, blah, 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 30 seconds to one minute giving her a little shout out giving her some praise she's a very very spiritual encouraging woman um, she's helped so many women um, and she's been through a lot, like a lot. And to see her smile and come through it, you can just tell that, um, you know, it, it was nothing but the grace of God. So, anyway, that's first things first. Um, I'm sorry on the last video I gave so many shout-outs, but, hey, I, I love to keep the women encouraged, so forgive me. If that's not your favorite part, I'll make sure I always put it at the end. That way you can just stop watching, you know, from the shout-out part. But I like to encourage the ladies because I had encouragement and I just feel like on this road you need so many people. You know, it, it takes a lot. You know, it's a village. You know, it's our little village. And I feel like, you know, if we can't encourage each other or if we can't, you know, um, help each other out or bless each other, then, and, and, you know, with our stories or our journey, then how are they supposed to know that there is a um, a baby at the end of the rainbow? You know what I mean? So anyway um what i let me see the things that i actually missed let's see last time to talk about um i think the last time i actually spoke about the babies they're five ounces each um exactly five ounces each so they're good um the placement where the i guess the umbilical cord or the placenta is located um the doctor was kind of worried about one of the babies um or whatever but it seems to be okay for now everything is you know straight on that part um so uh, basically i guess they kind of want them like kind of in the middle i get where it's kind of hard to describe but they want it kind of like in the middle and i think it's baby b i think baby maybe but one of them is um not so much straight in the in the line that separates them which I forgot the names but anyway it's kind of like like straight and kind of up so it's kind of like you know but I mean baby hadn't missed any meals the baby's still growing same rate you know as her sister um so I'm not even about to worry about that um cervix is at a four so um she said that they like to see services but the cervix being between two and four it's four four centimeters i guess or four inches no four centimeters it had to be four centimeters or four inches four centimeters maybe i don't know anyway cervix cervix was looking good um and healthy and nice and thick um what else um 
don't know if y'all watched it by now. My last video was a gender reveal. Yes, we are having two girls. Um, it was a shock, but it's exciting. Um, yes, we have picked out some names. Um, until I'm certain and they're in stone, I don't really want to share them with y'all just yet. I know y'all know probably one of them. Um, but we had to think of the other baby girl's name because we thought that she was going to be a boy. But um, God knew my desire and knew my heart and knew I, I've always wanted daughters, you know, um, from when I was little, playing with Barbie dolls. I always came up with my names for my daughters, you know, and stuff. So um, so that's a blessing. Um, as far as the babies um, themselves, they're doing great. Um, the doctor, the maternal fetal doctor, um, had no complaints about anything which she said things of course don't start happening until later on if there's any complications but both babies look look very healthy and, <clears throat> and strong um, I talk with my OB nurse and she talked she told me my results came in and from the glucose I had to take a glucose test and I took my glucose test at for 15 weeks I had just turned 15 weeks maybe and I also had um, so I had a, I had a high level of sugar in my urine and then I also had um, a over over functioning thyroid issue so they tested me again for everything they called me as a matter of fact the day I made my video they actually called me and told me um, I don't have gestational diabetes um, it was fine and that my thyroid was um, what's the words they used over um, over what did they say oh my gosh I'm sorry y'all it wasn't the word stimulating but it was um, My thyroids were basically they were basically getting too much hormones from them. Basically, they were overworking. I can't think of the name or word I'm looking for, but they were they were overdoing it. Okay, and so they prescribed me some medication. I take one pill by mouth a day, and I'm assuming this is supposed to level out the amount of hormone and keep them functioning the way they need to function. Um, or whatnot. So I'm like, you know, I don't understand how that could be harmful. I guess, but I guess too much harm. I don't know. Maybe my thyroid has issues because I'm having two girls. Maybe, and maybe that's what I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so that was some good results on my part because I rather have the thyroid issue than the um, gestational diabetes. So. Praise God, because Lord, sticking myself with a needle again is just, uh. Um, what else was it? Um, I think someone asked me, where am I located? I am in Houston, Texas area, um, and that's where my doctor, uh, my IVF doctor or specialist was, is located. Um, I think somebody from Plano, Texas had asked me, and I know you're kind of far. You're kind of way up there in Plano, so that's kind of far of a drive. But anyway, um, yeah, um, I do have a video on my doctor um, that did my IVF cycle or whatever. Um, so I did do one about maybe four videos back, maybe four or five vi videos back. Um, what else? Um, was it something else that I'm forgetting? Something else? No, I have not started shopping yet. <laughs> I know, right? I have not started shopping. I think I'm still in shock. I'm, I mean, I'm still in shock that I'm pregnant, but I'm more even in shock that I'm having girls. Um, I'm just trying to like, oh my gosh, like girls, first I'm pregnant, okay, still trying to get my mind wrapped around it because this belly is growing, and then um, I'm starting to feel movements, but I'm starting to feel kind of like swimming movement, not 
not legs or arm movement. I'm getting more like swimming than like, and sometimes like a part of my stomach could be kind of hard. On the other side, it'd be like really jelly. So I feel, okay, one's on this side, one's here. So I can kind of determine somewhat of where they are now. Um, and I think that is it as far as, um, bits and pieces that I did not get a chance to update on. Um, I want to thank y'all for all the shout outs y'all been giving me by video. Um, you know, when I do y'all shout outs, y'all include me and I just really appreciate that I do see them and I do try and respond. Um, and if for some reason I missed the video and I did not respond, let me know because I probably didn't see it or um, probably watched halfway and then got sidetracked and forgot, you know, so sometimes I go back to my YouTube and I have a video that I was in the middle of and didn't finish playing. Um, so um, if that happened, let me know. Um, So I think I want to say that's it before I do my little shout outs. Um, oh, and I know a lot of people have been asking me what um, what am I going to do with my the rest of my embryos because we have 14 frozen embryos left. And me and my husband have been trying to decide, you know, are we going to donate them or keep them frozen for whatever purpose I don't know because we this is it like we we pray that these two girls come out healthy and strong and and everything but I just can't see us um I think we're done like I think that was that's that was the plan like put two in and that's it <laughs> so um I don't really know what we're gonna do. Um, it just kind of bothers me sometimes, and it's weird. But it, like I was telling my husband and was talking to the doctor, and I was like, you know, what if we're walking around one day later on in life and see a little girl or a little boy that looks just like our twins or look just like us, and we're like, that has to be one of them, you know? Like, and what if they, you know, you don't. You, when you donate them, you don't know the people, you know, you don't know who they are. Like, I can't decipher, oh, they look like they, I mean, not to be judgmental, but you really, it's kind of like adoption, you know, like you, you have to go through extensive background check, all stuff like that. Like, I'm hoping that that's what they would do to you before they even get one, because it's just like adopting a baby um, or whatever, and what if their bodies are not functioning right or you know have to go through some stuff and then they lose the embryo because of an issue with their body or whatever so i don't know it's just kind of weird kind of strange i don't know y'all let me know what y'all opinions are on that so now i want to do a couple of shout outs really quick and this is the part that if you want to stop watching you can um, let's see, um, DCL Diva B, um, posted a 13 week postpartum and three month update on her baby boy. Um, I'm glad to see that she's, um, in a really cheerful mood, which she's always in a cheerful mood, but she actually had a baby and he was born, what, three or four four months three or four months early I think it was like three months earlier or so or four months well anyway he was in the NICU for a while and uh, when they finally brought him home he was having seizures and so anyway um, she's been going through a lot and going down a crazy path um, with the baby uh, with her son and so um, it was good to see her on there and so I'm just sending prayers to her and praying that whatever it is that they find it because they did do like a spinal tap but they couldn't get any fluid and they did it like three times and who wants to put their baby through all of that and the baby can't even eat all, you know that day before they do it so it's I mean the day of that they do it or whatever and it's just it's 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 a lot you know so keep her in prayer she's a sweet sweet girl um uh 
um, Sarah loves Peter um, I actually watched her video and basically um, they did a transfer and I'm praying that everything went well and everything took because um, they had some embryos left over and none of them made it and she was just saying that she didn't understand why they didn't make it because um, you know there's nothing wrong with them like they're perfectly healthy and stuff like that so they're not exactly sure um, and they were all they were all done with ICSI so um, keep praying your prayer so shouting out to you and praying that you know that your um, transfer went well baby stick and um, that way you'll have time to decide what you want to do later on once you get that baby in your arms um, Nikki Proverbs 31 girl you are still pregnant I just knew the next video was gonna be labor and delivery um, but um, praise God that you know you did make it to 37 weeks and um, that uh, you know everything seems to be going well healthy um, Jaden seems like he's just kind of comfy in there and don't know what he wants to do um, but anyway I love the nursery I love the little uh, Superman theme I mean Superman superhero theme um, or whatnot and um, your belly shot and everything and you know I could just look in your face and tell you you are ready you know and and like you said you know a lot of women it's hard for us to to quote unquote complain about our um, the bad times because a lot of people look at it like well you know why are you complaining now you know you you pregnant or you got your baby and this and that but in all good things there are things there are complications or there are situations that you know we don't agree with or we don't like you know I can honestly say that the first trimester was rough for me like oh my gosh like if I had to do it again like if I had to like say for instance you know I, I have these babies and they're healthy and everything's good I wouldn't want to do it again so like, I completely understand what you're saying it, it there are tough spots and I know um, um, my girl Shandy she has said that before too she's kind of like you know it's kind of hard I don't want to sound like I'm complaining or anything she said but you know I'm throwing up or I'm feeling like this I'm feeling like that so I feel like um, in any pregnancy no matter how you get pregnant whether it's IVF naturally or whatever you're blessed but you're still gonna talk about the other things you know that's the whole point of knowing you know that we're you know that we're all pregnant we all go through different things and we all have different symptoms so um, don't feel like for a minute, um, Nikki, that you're complaining because homegirl, sometimes I, trust me, I, I understand. <laughs> um, Baby Hopes 13 um, had her IVF consultation and she received um, good news and some bad news, but she, everything's looking good and I feel like this new doctor is more promising than the last. This new doctor also told her things that shouldn't have been done in the past so I'm praying that this doctor here and that's what I've been praying too I've been praying you know if, if a lot of ladies that's been going to a certain doctor haven't has not been successful so please you know guide them or lead them to a new doctor a new specialist so that way they can um, you know um, succeed at this so, sometimes you may be at the wrong doctor sometimes doctor you know they don't know what they, maybe they don't know what they're doing I don't know but um, mini apple mom to be she had her transfer um, her and her husband they're so silly um, they um, so they're on their two week wait they're on there they're in there they're in their two week wait um, so um, she is pregnant until proven otherwise um, Treva did her 16 week and finally got a belly shot after 10 years of waiting <laughs> uh, so Treva 10 uh, Look, you looking good, girl, and girl, we, we, we making it, huh? We getting there. So she's having a boy, and um, like I said, we're due around the same time, um, if not the same day, watch. <laughs> and I believe, um, oh, Our Normal Life Atlanta. Um, I want to say thank you for the shout out. Um, I finally went and watched it. Please forgive me. Um, and actually, me and my husband actually watched it together. And um, I like the fact that we were last but not least. <laughs> so anyway, um, we enjoyed the shout out. And um, my husband, he's normally at work or somewhere, and he's never around to listen to um, the shout outs that are given to us. 
you know, he was like, oh, that's cool. That's cool or whatever. And I just tell him a little bit about your background and all this stuff like that because I had looked at all your videos and stuff. And um, so I was telling him you in the military and how you got married and where you are and that y'all getting ready to try and have a baby. And so anyway, I um, kind of caught him up a little bit because you're, you're new to the group. So he knows about everybody else pretty much, but you were new to the group. So I had to kind of catch him up to speed um, on that and everything. And, um... Yeah, and your hair was really cute in that video that you did with a shout out. I just want to let you know I like that. Um, and I think that was it because the other ones I did on my last video. So other than that, ladies, that is it. Um, I will come to y'all hopefully next week with my 17 week update. I just feel like 17, 18, and 19. If anything changes, then maybe I'll come and do a video. I don't know. Maybe if anything changes. Yeah, maybe if anything changes or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Because, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. Um, and hubby needs to get in here and clean up his mess. So that way, we pull down the Christmas tree to get ready. For Christmas and stuff and put it up and everything and he pulled out everything out of the um, the it's supposed to be a hallway closet but the hallway closet is in the living room it's like a coat closet but it's a storage closet in the living room whoever designed these apartments need to be slapped um anyway I believe that is it so let y'all ladies go love y'all Bye.